Hi, my name is Doris and I'm a Liberty Wildlife Volunteer. And today I just want to talk a little bit about differences, how to identify great horn owls. We have great horn owls, the biggest owls here in Arizona, and today we have three of them out here. And we picked three different looking owls, and I want to talk a little bit about them. First of all, Kelly has Hedwig. Hedwig is from the north. She's a, she's a female, so she's going to be a little bit bigger. Females are about a third bigger than males in the wild. And her coloration is a little bit different because she has to blend in with the area that she came from. So she blends in with her trees. Next to her is Miss Snickers. And Snickers is more common in the Phoenix area just because the coloration of our trees are a little bit different. So she's really local to our area. So she's, she's who you'll see mostly um, around here. And then lastly, we have Tucker. And Tucker is a male. And as you can see, Tucker is a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller than the females. So I'll put him in front so you guys can kind of do a comparison. You can see how much smaller he is. Now, a little bit about these guys. Tucker came to us from up north. Tucker was in a car accident. Unfortunately, at night, they have silent flight and they flow, fly low to the ground and a car hit him. He came in, he was completely attached to the front bumper. The guy took him home, woke up the next morning, came out in the garage and was like, oh, that's what that noise was. So he was in actually overnight and um, he called Liberty Wildlife, which is always the right thing to do, and we detached him from the bunker, bumper. But as you can see, he still has good flight. He's just not well enough to be released.